Okay, hello everyone. Today's video, um, we're going to be doing an updated tutorial on how to install, um, on how to install add-on packs for Timeless and Classic Zero. So basically, what you first want to do is this this mod is this, or this guide is assuming you already have a Minecraft instance. Um, for me, I'm using Prism Launcher. Um, the vanilla Minecraft launcher will also work. One thing I will say, uh, I was getting a lot of in my comments, um, about T Launcher. I do not support that, because that is not legal, using that. Uh, if you, before you comment about that, try it with an actual Minecraft launcher, and try actually purchasing the game first. No haters to people that, no hate to people that do that, I'm just saying. Sometimes modding tends to have issues with with that type of thing. But anyways, first what we're going to do is open a File Explorer window. Um, this is going to be pretty much the same on Windows 10 because the File Explorer isn't too much different. But you're going to want to locate your TACZ custom folder. So basically, here, I'll show you the file path. Um, we're going to go here, go here, go here, go here. So, you're going to find your um, thing. Uh, it should be in your... Oh, crap, where is it? Uh, it should be in your user folder. So, you're going to go into app data, roaming, um... Minecraft, we're going to scroll, or we're going to look for a folder, okay, well that's not it, my bad. Okay, and then you're going to, for you, depending on your launcher, yeah, it's going to be different in a different spot. If you're using Prism Launcher, um, you can just find Prism Launcher. However, um, before you're doing this, if you are using Prism Launcher or Modern Launcher, there's actually a button in here in the actual launcher. If you go to Edit, you go to Mods, there's actually a button to straight up view your configs. So you click that, and then it takes you straight to your configs. So... The only reason why I'm showing you where the config thing is manually is because not everyone has Prism Launcher or Modern Launcher. If you're not using those, I recommend getting them. They're completely free, and the only thing they need to do is have access to your Microsoft to check if you've actually purchased Minecraft. Um, okay, so then we're going to look for, um, in Prism Launcher, we're going to look for instances. So you can see, I found the instances folder. I'm going to select the 1.21. or the 1.20.1 forge instance because that's the one that I have. And then we're going we're going to go into Minecraft config. We're going to find the mod TACZ. If you have a lot of mods, there could be um, a bunch of different config folders. And then we're going to go into custom. Okay. So now you can see here, here are all my add-ons. Each one of the zip files are an add-on. This is not all of them, but this is the vast majority of them, because most add-ons come as zip files. So, I did close out the manual window. Now, this is for how you find it if you're pulling up your configs through um, Prism Launcher or whatever launcher. You just select TXZ, custom, boom, we're done. So, like, I'm just gonna go this. I'm just gonna move this to my downloads, and we'll just pretend that I downloaded this. I mean, I did download it. The only thing is, is I don't, I haven't really been seeing any good add-on facts recently. So, we're assuming that you already downloaded it. So, since you've already downloaded it, um, you're going to select the ones you want. Uh, make sure these are zip files. Do not uh, do not decompress them. 
keep them as entire zip files. Um, before you ask how to install jar add-ons, I will go over those in a minute. It's actually a little bit different, but then we're just gonna, I'm just gonna cut this, and then I'm just gonna paste it into my custom folder. For those of you that work better in Windows, or that like, use different Windows with File Explorer, you just drag it and then drop it into your custom folder. It's not much different. Just make sure your mouse isn't over a zip file when you're dropping it, because if I'm correct, I think that, um, you can do that, or that can, like, break things. But anyway, so now we've installed our brand new mod. So now that that's done, we're gonna go ahead, and I'm just gonna close off this window, because we don't need it anymore. Um, we're gonna go to our instance in, uh, whatever launch you're using. I'm using Prism. You're gonna click launch. Or play if you're using the vanilla one. I don't know what it is for other modded launchers. Then we're gonna go ahead and uh, let that load up. And oh, what do you what do you want? Essential mod update. Skip update because I'm doing a tutorial right now. I will update. I will update that later. Yes, I do have essentials on this thing. Uh, don't be a bunch of random people adding me though because I won't know who you are and I'll probably just block it because I don't know who anyone is. But we're going to let this load. I'm actually going to real quick just minimize that because that will save on system resources for me. My PC is not the best. Also, if you are doing a lot of add-on packs for Thomas and Classic Zero, I recommend <laughs> upping the max amount of RAM that the instance can have because you can see here my thing is using over 2 gigs of RAM currently. I have it set to 4 gigs of RAM. If you guys do want to know how to set the gigs of RAM, um, it's different for each and every launcher, and I do not remember where it is in Prism Launcher, but um, I believe it's in like the settings of the instance. And what you do is, by default, it's normally set to 2 gigs of RAM, which it should say 2048. Basically, you just take however many gigabytes you want of RAM, and then you times that by 1024, since that is the amount of RAM megabytes in a gigabyte. Okay, so now we're just going to load in a single player, test world, because it doesn't really matter. It's best to just have a regular test world. You don't actually have to, um, like, make a legit survival moral, mo world just yet. I mean, you don't have to make one at all if you're just downloading tech Z to just, like, mess around with it in creative, because that's what I do with it most of the time. You totally can. Okay, so now we have some, you can see we have some chat and stuff on the team, or on the screen. Now we're going to hit T for chat. So you want to read through the chat. Um, You can see here, it says, Tag Z has upgraded the gun pack format. Old gun packs format is I don't know what that word is. And no longer and no longer use. For old version gun packs, you need convert them for continuous use. Yeah, the translations aren't the best. I mean, the team that made Taxi is, like, partially Chinese, if I'm correct, so it's fine. So find old version gun packs. Oh, wait. That's it. Oh, it's saying that it found old version gun packs. Do you want to convert them now? Now, fun fact, I actually haven't installed any new ones since I've done this last, so we're just going to click this Click Me to Convert option. Okay, so now that that's done, you want to go ahead and read through this thing. It says, Convert Finish, Total Time, blah blah blah, Milliseconds, Success. If you're installing gun packs, and not all of them are in the older format, some of them... Like, nowadays, they're in the newer format. But, um... Yeah, it'll say however many were successful, it'll say however many were skipped, if they were already in the newer format, and it'll say however many failed. And then, after that, it's gonna have you restart the game. So, that's what we're gonna do. Now, there's literally... I'm not gonna restart, I'm just gonna close it. And show you how to install jar files. But, basically, you just restart the game, and then they will show up in your creative inventory. 
Um, that gun I was holding, by the way, was, if I'm correct, an add-on gun. I do not believe that was a base taxi gun. I don't remember what I was holding. There. So we're going to close out of that. You know, back into... Uh, no, no, no. You're going to go back into Prison Launcher. Uh, you're going to go... Well, this is assuming you have Prison Launcher. For Prison Launcher, you are going to have to do like one or two extra things for dot .jar file add-ons. But for the Vanilla Launcher, it's just drag the jar file, put it in the mods folder, you're done. So we're going to go edit. We're going to go mods. So we're actually going to want to click on this view folder option. Yeah, and see, you can see we have all the dot .jar add-ons. I'm not actually going to do anything with those. So then what you do is you go to your downloads. I don't have any jar file add-ons I can grab, but let's just say I grab an add-on from here. I cut it or copy it, whatever you want to do. And then I paste it in here. Now, a little disclaimer. For um, dot .jar file add-ons, you have to make sure, like for example, on CurseForge or Modern, you have to make sure you select the right launcher. Certain mods you download will work for different launchers, or not launchers, my bad, um, mod loaders. Um, you have to make sure you select, like, the version for your specific mod loader. So since I'm using, you can see right here, it says Forge. I named my instance Forge because I was going to have a 1.20.1 fabric one. But, um, make sure you spec you grab the one that's for your specific mod loader. You can tell what mod loader it is when you're making a new instance in, um, for example, um, Prism Launcher. You can choose what mod loader is there by default. Or is not by default, but like you can choose it to pre-install with a mod loader. Which is, of course, easy. For, for the vanilla one, you're just going to have to look at the thing and see, oh, hey, which, like for your instance, which one is this? So basically, you just paste it in here, and then, I believe it's that simple for jar add-ons, except for the fact that with Prism Launcher, and maybe certain other custom launchers, you're going to want to, uh, I'm going to show you the download mods thing in a minute, but you're going to click on the add file, it's going to have you, If I'm, I'm not actually going to select the file because I already have all the mods that I want in here, but Essentially, you can just like select it. You could probably just straight up select it straight from your downloads, honestly. And then it will straight up add the .jar file to here. And you'll see it on this pretty little list. Now, to get it to actually work in Prism Launcher, you do have to click the Add File button if you're going to download them manually. However, that leads me to this. The Download Mods button. Right here, you can choose to search Modrinth or CurseForge. You're going to want to search for a thing on one of them. If it doesn't show up on that, search for it on the other. Um, generally, I prefer to download mods through this instead of opening up my whole browser just to download one or two mods. So basically, um, for the add-on you want, type in the name of it, or just type in T-A-C-Z. Okay, you can see here. Um, so, TACZ Plus, um, a collection of random tweaks and features to advance. Mm. So, there's third-person combat, there is taxi NPCs, there's durability, which is annoying, I'm not going to download that. But basically, you select the thing you want, you click select, select mod for download, you click review. You click review and confirm, and then, like for example, for this mod, it doesn't have any uh, dependencies that it needs, so it's only going to download this mod. Now, for mods that require dependencies, they will just show up here as other mods. Just leave them. Do not remove them because, unless of course you already have it, but if you already have the dependency, it's not. It shouldn't show up here. So, you would click OK. For downloading it, but I'm not going to click OK because I don't want that add-on. And then, you have one selected resource. Are you sure you want to close this dialog? Yes. 
computer. Okay, so now once you've downloaded it, it will literally just show up in here. In your list as well. And then, kaboom! You're, that's how you install uh, jar file add-ons for Taxi and zip file add-ons. Also, uh, one more tim bit before I end the video. I apologize for not uploading in, like, a very long time. I didn't mean to not upload for a very long time. I've been meaning to do this updated tutorial for a while because I keep getting people that, um, in the comment section are like, Hey, what, how do I do this? It doesn't, the tutorial doesn't work anymore. And then, so yeah, I'm just making this updated tutorial and I will be taking down the old ones so there's no confusion. Um, so also I do just want to say, uh, if you guys do need any help, please be sure to contact me on discord. It, the username is the same as my YouTube channel. Uh, you might want to specify that you are like a subscriber or like that you came to me on discord from watching this video because I'm probably not going to know who you are and I might end up just closing the DM on accident. Or something. But anyways guys. That's going to be about it for today's video. Um, thank you for watching. And I will hopefully see you in the next one.